guys welcome back okay so today i'm super excited because i'm going to be playing in the new urban decay stoned vibes palette this is what she looks like packaging is bomb okay let me just show you this do you see the detailing 3d effect of the stones on there i mean so gorgeous and the colored background so so pretty so i mean i'm gonna be 100 honest that's why i bought this palette okay i'm not even gonna lie because the packaging is so pretty um i mean you know the beautiful gorgeous shimmer shades in here is another reason to pick up this palette but I have beautiful shimmer shades, but yeah, I really wanted to try these out from Urban Decay and just see what they come in with, if they come in with the heat or not. So yeah, this is what she looks like. You can see these gorgeous, gorgeous stars of the show, the jewel stoned shimmers in there. And then you only get, you know, these four shades that you can use for you know crease work and highlighting and stuff like that but this is what she looks like i mean she's really really cute i wish they would have thrown like a, a dark blue matte or something in here or even a black but you get what you get so yeah i'm actually thinking about possibly grabbing like another palette to pull in some different matte options but i don't know we'll see after i swatch it because i kind of want to stay true to the palette like i normally do and you know we'll see what happens but let me just go ahead and read a little bit of the specifics regarding this stoned vibes palette so you guys can you know just get the gist now this retails for 54 dollars okay i got mine off the ulta website i used coupons i used points i used all kind of stuff i probably paid about ten dollars for this palette <laughs> so you know i really like how ulta lets you accumulate your points and stuff like that and use it for money and it can go like as high as possible for stuff like this you know so anyways that's what i did but let me tell you what it says here it says elevate your makeup and mood with urban decay stone vibes eyeshadow palette eight buildable prismatic shimmers and four high pigment mattes all infused with genuine tourmaline for good energy and ultimate staying power. Each of its ultra blendable, <laughs> ultra blendable gemstone inspired marbleized eyeshadows features a hybrid powder cream vegan formula that gives you maximum shimmer and glitter, minus the fallout, plus four mattes to create a full look. <laughs> so we're just gonna check these out and see if those claims are true. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the shimmers and then I'll swatch the mattes and then we'll go ahead and jump into this eye look. So these are the shimmers from the palette. And those are the other four shades. So as you can see there, that third eye shadow does have a bit of kind of like satinness to it. So it's really not a matte, but you can definitely use that in your crease and blend it out. So yeah, so these are all of the shadows in this palette. So just looking at it, I think I'm probably not going to cheat and use another palette in my crease. I'll go ahead and use, you know, one of these or two of these in my crease and then work a couple of these shimmers and see what's happening, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna prep my lids with my P. Louise base. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my eyelids prepped. I think I'm going to actually go into the darkest uh, matte, <laughs> but I'm going to this dark shade here and work that into my crease. And I'm not sure if because of the formula, if I'm going to need a denser brush, but I'm just going to start out with a regular, you know, regular eyeshadow blending brush. 
just to see how it lays down. Okay, so that's applying pretty well with just a regular brush. I can see a bit of that satiny sheen to it, but it doesn't bother me. And so I'm just kind of buffing that up towards the upper portion of my lid, you know, closer to my brow bone, because I think, honestly, I'm just going to use this color for my crease. I'm not gonna use any other colors with this. Okay, so I have that color down and I really like that. I like that color. It's different, very pretty, kind of like a, a grapey, whiny, burgundy type shade. And I like the different texture of it. You know, not just being just a regular matte. I like that, it's a little something different. Okay, so I am going to use a base before I go into these prismatic metals or prismatic shimmers. Um, I pulled my black one and I pulled my blue one. I think I'm gonna go with black because I'm not sure which of these shimmers I wanna use yet. So I'm just going in with one of my Shani black pencil. It's like a jumbo eyeshadow pencil. And I'm just going to place that on my lid to kind of make these colors pop and be a little bit more true to color. Now I have to decide, do I wanna wing it out a bit or do I wanna just keep it right on my lid? I think for right now, I'm just going to keep it right on my lid. I'll decide about a wing later. Now I'm just going to go back in with that same brush that I used for my crease color and just gently blend that edge out just a bit. What I really like about these jumbo eyeshadow pencils is honestly, you can use them to create just a very quick, easy eye look. As you can see right here, I have a simple smoky eye. If you wanna go in and just tap a little bit of black shadow on top of that, just to set it in place, you're good to go, easy breezy. So let me just blend this out just a little bit. I'm not going for that super neat look today. Something a little bit messy is okay. And you guys know I try to use as much of my eye space as possible. <laughs> oh boy. I actually really love this. Okay, that's it, video's done. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, now the question is which shimmers do I wanna use? Of course you guys know I wanna use the blue, I wanna use the green. I mean, this bloodstone color right here is really, really pretty. I mean, they're all pretty, but you guys know I need that ooey in my life, okay? So I think I'm actually gonna do Bloodstone and Oho, is it? Oho, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna do these two here. Now this palette does come with a brush and has a kind of like a fluffy end, and then it also has, you know, a flat end. And I mean, I typically don't use the brushes that come in palettes, except for the Profusion ones, because those are bomb. But um, let me go ahead and try this flat end here and see how that works on the inner portion. But I have a feeling I'm gonna end up using my finger. That's why I didn't put on any nails yet. <laughs> Well, it's definitely showing up, hello. Okay, that showed up more than I thought it would, honestly. I feel like when I go on top with a little bit of the shadow dry, it's more glittery than when I go in like direct wet. It's not as glittery. Either way, I think is super, super gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. Okay, let's get some of that blue. Okay, 
Okay, well that's a little disappointing. Let me try a little bit without spraying my brush and see if that's a little better. Okay, so it's showing up a bit better. As you can see, I mean, I have wrinkly lids anyways, but as you can see, it's really accentuated with the wet shadow. So I'm gonna go in with my finger on this one. Okay, so the color is definitely way more vibrant using my finger, as you can see. It's kind of hard for me to control exactly where I want it to be. But yeah, it's definitely way more vibrant with my finger. And you can see that fallout there. So I'm just going to blend the edge of the green in with that blue. And now I'm just going to clean up a bit. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that crease shade, that dark plum satin shade and just kind of blend out the edges so it's not rough. I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner today. Now I do wanna add a little bit more pizzazz to this look, of course, so I'm gonna go in with one of my Profusion. This is the one of their Bright Lights eyeliner and hopefully I don't completely destroy this eye look, but I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit of that above the black, not a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the complexion. Um, I am going to moisturize with some of my Milk Makeup. This is the Vegan Moisturizer. I'm just going to do a little because I actually already moisturized um, before I got started. But, you know, when you're wiping up and cleaning up fallout and stuff, you know, you can wipe off a lot of your moisturizer for your skin, so. Never hurts to add a little more. For foundation today, I'm using a new one, so hopefully it doesn't make me look crazy and ruin this whole makeup look today. I'm using my Juvia's Place. This is one of the shade sticks, and I picked up Guinea. Um, they were on sale not too long ago, I guess, on Ulta, and so I did grab one. This is really pretty, you know, orange packaging. And this is the color that I chose. So let's see what happens. Now, I am very nicely tanned on my body right now because I like to hang out by the pool, go to the water, go to the, you know, the ocean and hang out in the sun. <laughs> so I have a tendency to cook myself during the summer. So I don't know, we'll see. But if it's too light, then I'll just add something that's a little bit darker. I don't really use stick foundations, so I'm always like, okay, you know, how much is too much? How much is just enough? You know, I'm a full coverage type of a chick, as you guys know. And typically, whenever I do use stick foundations, they seem so like heavy and greasy, like I can feel them a lot. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to dampen my brush and try it. Or should I use a sponge, you guys? I better use a brush for the most coverage. I really like the way this foundation is blending out. I feel like I definitely should have did some concealing for my dark circles and around my mouth and stuff, but I really wanted to see the coverage on this foundation. So for me, it looks like it's just kind of like a light to medium, but then definitely buildable. But it doesn't feel super heavy and it's actually a nice shade that I can use 
regularly and to kind of transition into when I'm darker because even though I'm tanned, I can just add, you know, a little bronzer, a little contour and it'll work for me. So let me just build this up just a little bit. Okay, so this is what she's looking like with a little bit extra around my mouth and under my eyes. And the finish is actually really nice. Um, it has kind of like that little bit of healthy glow, like healthy dewiness to it, you know? Um, it's not my favorite just because of the fact that I can feel it and it's probably because I'm not used to stick foundations. I can definitely feel it. <laughs> feel it on my skin, but let's move on. For concealer, using my favorite Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 11. Now to warm myself up a bit, I'm going to use my Uma Beauty Shade Stick. And that's what it looks like. So you only need a very small amount of this. I typically use too much. <laughs> so I'm trying to do tiny dots. Okay, so now to set those highlighted areas before they start to do too much creasing, I'm gonna go in with DJ's Boutique's Loose Powder. I'm using the shade Honey. And you guys, this powder is the bomb. If you have not grabbed you some, you need to go ahead and grab you some before it sells out, okay? I do have her link down in my description box. You can also save 10% because it is an affiliate link, but Y'all know, BJ bringing that fire, okay? So you definitely need to try out her powder. Woman owned, indie brand, woman of color, doing the thing. And she got a lot of new releases and stuff that's coming up with the holiday. Check out her Instagram page. She has a YouTube channel called Just PTD but definitely check out her Instagram page so that you guys will stay in the know for DJ's unique boutique as well as, you know, her regular Instagram, just peachy D. But yeah, she has some really exciting stuff coming out for the holidays. I can't wait to try it out for you guys so that, you know, you guys can make sure and get yours before it sells out. But yeah, if you wanna support women owned, black owned brand definitely check out dj's unique boutique and save you a little money at the same time by using my link now to set the rest of my face i'm going in with my Too Faced born this way this is their multi-use powder as you can see i use it quite a bit And I use the shade Spiced Rum, which is the same shade that I use in the Too Faced regular liquid foundation. Now I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer, just a little bit to kind of set the cream bronzer in place on my face. For blush today, I'm going to use my Milani Spiced Rose. And this is what it looks like. It has just a little bit of satininess to it. So I'm gonna see how this looks and then decide if I wanna add highlight as well. Because sometimes when I use this blush, I don't feel like I need highlight also. You see how it has just a little bit of sheen to it? So yeah. 
Mm, I might add a little highlight. <laughs> Now, my shot my stash, I decided I wanted to repurpose one of my eyeshadows that I was actually going to declutter and use it as a highlighter because it's really pretty. This one is from L'Oreal. And which one is this? I don't know. I'll let you guys read it. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on right now. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and repurpose this and use it kind of like as a highlighter. So let's see what we can do with this today. Kind of pretty it's kind of pretty and it's not too chunky and not too glittery to where I can't really use it as a highlight I definitely can and a little bit on the nose and on the bridge okay so now that my complexion is done I can go back to my lower lash line I'm going to take my other jumbo pencil from Shani this is the blue one and I'm going to use this on my lower lash line and I'm not going to be super neat with it just because I want to kind of like smoke out my lower lash line Going back into the palette, I'm going to go back into this dark shade here that I used in my crease, and I'm going to just use that to further smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on some lashes before I do my inner corner. Okay, so now we need an inner corner pop, of course. And we have plenty of pops to choose from here. Um, I'm actually gravitating, I think, to this one here. Yeah, I think that'll be a nice pop. Let's hope, because it seems like some of these shimmers do better when they're wet and some do better when they're dry, so who knows. But I typically wet my inner corner pop, that's for sure. Okay, so that's pretty. It's not showing as popalicious as it does on my finger. And I'm not trying to put my finger <laughs> right there. So I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit more. See if I can make it pop a little more. Okay, that's better. A little bit more of a pop. That color is really pretty. I like it, very pretty. And since it's September, okay, I'm all ready for like these fall colors and fall lips and fall eyes. So for my lips today, I'm gonna go dark. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop and Ellery Cranberry Colored Lip Liner, but I'm going to go in with my Fenty Lipstick. This is one of her Stunna Lip Pates, the purple one. Don't remember the name, I'll put it on the screen. And we just gonna go deep and dark with these lips today. Actually, I could just use this color since I have like this purpley plum color going on on my eyes. Hmm. Let me see if I have a lipstick that's close to this color. Okay, I'm gonna use this Celeste color. This is a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Vampire. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty much like the same shade. Sorry Fenty, maybe next time. Okay, so this is the final look for today, you guys, with this Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. I mean, I know I kind of added my own little twist to it with the dark base and the blue liner and yada, 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 but I wouldn't be myself if I didn't, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is the look. 
excuse the crooked liner and the wonky lashes but this is what we have and I would say honestly the shimmers are really nice they're fun to play with I think you kind of got to get familiar with each one I don't feel like they're all the same like the green went on like a dream when I used it with my brush and you know spraying it or dry but the blue was acting a little funny so you know when I went in with my fingers then it wasn't too bad but yeah it's kind of it's interesting I don't know how it's gonna look on camera but it's looking now the blue is looking purple to me <laughs> which is crazy but yeah it's actually looking purple to me more so than blue but who knows it could just be you know my camera and the lighting and stuff but yeah I think this palette is fun to play with I wouldn't say that it's anything like oh my gosh it's amazing you gotta go get it not at all I think they're decent shimmers but they're not like those mind-blowing shimmers that you get when you swatch some of the indie brands that I am oh so in love with now but it's a very nice palette I'm really really surprised at this shadow here I feel like it worked out really nice in my crease it's definitely deep enough you know it's brown girl friendly for sure um, you can blend it out as you can see soften it up. I only used that I didn't use anything else to soften it up and I think it looks just fine in the crease. So Yeah, for the shades that I use I think that they worked out very nice in the inner corner pop I really like that it's very very pretty so I'm glad that I picked this up to try it out like I said I wouldn't say it's anything that's like oh my gosh you gotta get it but the packaging <laughs> The packaging okay I'm I'm excited about this packaging alone okay I can see this on my shelf already it's very very pretty so anywho you guys that's it for today this full face let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about this palette and how it performed for me um about this eye look you know anything else that I used on my face like I said don't forget to check out DJ's unique boutique her link is in my description box you can save a few coins and like I said she has a lot of exciting things coming for the holidays so make sure that you follow her on instagram and check her out so that's it you guys thanks so much for watching definitely don't forget to hit that like leave me a comment and we can talk about it in the uh comment section so thanks so much for watching you guys and i will see you on the next one toodles